Hello and welcome back to our CAD Clip uh, lessons getting you up to date with your Revit architecture and Revit structure uh, 2008. Um, and we're talking about the different uh, shape editing of roofs and floors and slabs and I keep using a roof throughout these samples but it still applies to uh, floors and slabs. Um, so a couple points. One is that I'm in a perspective view right now. You'll notice whenever you're in a perspective view if you click on quite often in this case a roof you're not going to get a lot of your tools if you go to a regular non-perspective 3d view you can work and you can do this these edits uh, from you know different um, floor plans and etc but when you have a perspective camera view you'll notice that you don't get a lot of options um, for roofs and other things as well the other thing I want to point out is I haven't mentioned is that you can have a varying um, thickness in in a material on your uh, roof or floor or slab but usually a roof with your uh, tapered insulation so we'll show you how to do that a little bit later um, by providing a varying um, thickness to one of your roof components and then when you do a slope slab the bottom of the roof um, will be um, horizontal and then the tapering will take place in that varying segment of your roof construction. So here we're talking about adding in some split lines okay so I'm just going to go to for instance a um, uh, let's just go to a 3D view and the first thing I'm going to do is reset this. So I've got all kinds of stuff in there. I'm going to pick on my roof, reset it, bang, beautiful, back to a nice flat um, roof again. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, draw some split lines in here. I'm going to do shift, middle, mouse button. And this one I kind of wasn't sure how it worked and I was looking at um, where is the elevation of the line I draw. And watch what I'm talking about. We're going to use this tool here called draw split line. Well, what draw split line? As soon as I picked it, I was looking for an elevation. Well, if I, if I draw lines, how do I know what elevation I'm at? And what it does is it's very smart, smarter than what I thought, is it actually just picks up the elevation of wherever the roof is at that point. Now, right now, the roof is completely flat. Watch what I do. I'm going to pick two points. I'm going to pick and I can turn chain on so I can, you know, do a string of lines. But I'm just going to pick two points. That's it. I've drawn my split line and hit escape, escape, I'm done. The roof doesn't change. If I click on the roof and highlight it and I go back to my subcomponents, there's my split line. But the thing is it's at the same elevation as that. So watch, I can click on here. We've seen this before and I'm going to bump that down by, you know, minus one foot. So now I click out and there I have that. Now watch, I'm going to draw another split line. This time I'm going to draw my split line from here to here. Okay, and what it does is this point picks up elevation at wherever it was before adding the line and this picks up a point on the way down. I hit escape, escape, and then it draws in my roof like that. Now I'm going to click on that roof and I'm going to show you see what, what it did. Okay, I, I drew the line from here to here. So the points, what it did was it basically added a point at this um, elevation based on the existing slope and then I added another point over here and it picked up whatever elevation that was and then it triangulates back to the other vertices. Okay, same thing I'll put another one in over here. Okay, I'll add a split line and I'll, it's going to know what the elevation is there, it's going to know what the elevation is there and then it's basically going to pick those two points and then it's going to put what are called the automatic split lines. Escape and then shift middle mouse button so now we can see we have my man-made split lines and you'll notice that with your man -made split lines what else does it do it creates a vertex inside of here and at that point I can you know make that back to be zero again I can start to play with all these numbers click out escape and I'm done so there's my roof so it's really a matter of how you want to design this and what criteria you have ahead of time Clicking on here again, resetting, resets it all back to normal. Do an undo, get it back. Okay. Remember, sometimes it's easier to work on this from a kind of a topographic view. I can click on here and then I can go into my sub elements and then I can go in and click on here and use my control button. Okay. Pick all of these guys and then go to my elevation button here, which is just slightly off screen. You can't see that. And I can type in, you know, minus one foot. And all of a sudden, I've changed those all to be minus one foot. Bringing that back, clicking out, escape, escape, go to my 3D view. And there, these points have all been changed. So anytime you want, you can click on the roof. Here we go. 
draw split lines. Now when you draw split lines it naturally, okay, maybe I'll even go back to my site plan and do it from there, draw split lines, it's naturally going to snap to these points that are on existing um, um, split lines, okay, especially I should say it's going to grab man-made ones. These ones it doesn't seem to be jumping to the automatic split lines and again it's snapping and when you get to there you can hit your tab button maybe. No, tabbing doesn't do anything. So uh, it, it looks like it does grab and follow some of these lines. You have to kind of hover in and maybe get a little bit closer although it doesn't seem to be as attracted to the automatic split lines it definitely is snapping to the man-made split lines okay so then you can grab a point on the midpoint of that split line and draw that up to that edge and then now I've created a new split line again it picked up the elevation there and the elevation there I would presume that's higher go to my 3d view and that's sloping up now if I want I can go and add a point you know at minus you know six inches it just goes on and on and on at the midpoint of there hit escape escape and there's my roof so it's really limitless to how much triangulation you want to do in there it's a matter of understanding how all the different commands work click on here draw split line you can see when you do draw a split line it automatically shows you what's already there okay you can draw new ones it's going to give you your snap points if you want to modify them escape escape we click on the roof and we do our modify sub elements and now I can grab that and I can pull that point over okay you can you can move it up and down by changing these numbers inside of here and again you want to click and drag oh that was a little bit drastic there go back so modifying your sub elements you can click on there if I go to my site plan and I click here notice that I can actually drag that without going into any edit okay clicking on here okay you can see my man-made split lines I'm there's a center grip so I can just grab this manually and pull this without even going into any of my edit commands okay you can move these points oh it looks like I moved the whole roof there you have to be careful clicking on here seems like you can you know just like and with the topo surface so have a look from your different angles what happens tab tab pick a point okay move it over so you can move those split lines manually through here and you can change the elevation of them what happens tab pick on there change that height I mean it, it just keeps going on and on so it really doesn't matter which angle you look at um, we can always hit our reset button and start from scratch all over again so using our mutts modify sub element with our draw split lines tool very nice remember when you draw split lines basically picks up the elevation of the roof at the point you pick if it's sloped then it's a sloped split line if it's flat then it's a flat slip a split line so it really depends on the how the roof is before you draw the split lines um, and uh, next lesson we'll talk about pick supports and then we'll talk about the varying um, roof and floor component um, thicknesses. So tune in for a couple more.